What's up guys? We got another week and some really, really good workouts coming at you this week, okay? So let's jump right in. For your Monday workout, we're gonna go through a warm up uh, that's just gonna keep us moving, okay? So we're gonna go one minute today. First thing we're gonna go through is the dead bottom. So you're gonna lay down on the ground, then we're gonna tuck the knees, bring the arms up. So what we wanna do is lock down this core position so that we're in a neutral spinal position before anything starts to move, okay? So we've got the dead bug position, then we're gonna go left leg, right arm, and I wanna keep squeezing my core, maintaining that neutral position, then I'm coming back up, then I'm going right arm, or left arm, right leg, okay? So it's a cross pattern movement, left leg, right arm, left arm, right leg, okay? So you're gonna move through this one one minute, okay? Then you're gonna come up and we're gonna go through the cradle lunge. So on this one, you're gonna bring the leg up, kind of tuck the knee, then go down into a lunge position. Moving to the other leg, alternating legs, one minute, okay? Last movement is gonna be a shoulder articulation with a little bit of knee to elbow so that we warm up the midline, okay? So you're gonna start plank position, get that tension in the shoulders, nice tight plank. Then we're just gonna circle the arm, tuck the knee, okay? Go to the other side, tuck the knee. Maybe the next time you go in reverse, okay? We're just trying to create movement through the shoulder, also warming up the midline, okay? So that's your three warm-up movements. Dead bug, cradle lunge, and then the shoulder articulation in the plank position with a knee tuck, okay? Got that? Two rounds. Moving into your strength, the way this is gonna work, we're gonna work a minute, we're gonna rest a minute, we're going five rounds, okay? So we've got a suitcase deadlift, and we want you to use a suitcase, okay? or something similar, all right? I don't have a suitcase here, so I grabbed a gallon of paint, okay? Be creative. There's all kinds of sort of, uh, different objects that you can use for this movement, okay? So you're gonna set the upper back, just like for a deadlift position, feet under the hips, we're gonna hinge. Once the hands get to the knees, we're hinging and bending the knees going down and getting a hold of our object, okay? From there, deep breath. I'm coming up, okay? Hips go back, knees bend, we're touching the floor. I'm gonna do 10 on one side, then I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna do 10 on the other side, okay? So that's all gonna happen, minute number one, okay? 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Then you're gonna rest minute number two, okay? Work a minute, rest a minute. We're going five rounds there on the suitcase deadlift, okay? Now, once we finish, we're going right back in to some more interval work, okay? So, minute number one, we're going side plank, okay? We wanna stack the feet, arms locked out, maybe bring this uh, non-working arm up on the hip, but we want the shoulders stacked, okay? We don't wanna be here or behind. Get in a good stack position. Now, on this one, if we need to scale it, we could go down to the elbow. This gets a little bit more stable, okay? And then, if you need to stagger your feet, that will help with just stabilization as well, okay? So a few different options there that you can maybe check down to if you need to on the side plank. So, you've got a 30 second on the left, then you're switching going 30 seconds on the right, okay? So you're working for a full minute, but just 30 on each side. Minute number two, yep, you're resting, okay? So just like on the first piece, second minute we rest, we're going four rounds here, okay, on the plank. Then we're gonna go into a hollow hold, okay? So hollow position, we're on our back. Now, what we wanna make sure here is that when we raise the feet up, I want you to check this position first, okay? So make sure in this position, if our low back's in contact with the floor, we're good to go, okay? You can move the arms out, okay? That's gonna challenge it a little bit more. 
If you get to this position, low back's off, I want you to tuck the knees and now reach for the heels, okay? So that gives you a more challenging position and one that you can go down to if you need to, but this is our start point, okay? Start here and then go either direction. Got it? Okay, you got three rounds of that one, okay? So you're going 30 seconds on, on the hollow hold, and then we're gonna rest a minute and a half here, okay? We're gonna give you an extra 30 second of rest because these hollow holds get pretty challenging, okay? Now on this one too, if you need to, go a little shorter on the time, okay? Maybe you go, you're going 10 seconds, if that's all you can do from a midline standpoint, just cut the time down a little bit. So maybe you go 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Okay, you can do it that way as well. If you're crushing the 30 seconds and you want to go 40, go for it. Okay, because minute number two, you got rest coming anyways. So you got some options there on the hollow hold if you want to add more time or you need to chop it down a little bit. Okay, so that's your strength piece. Okay, once we finish up the suitcase deadlift, the side planks, and the hollow holds, then we're going to go in to this uh, sprint piece. Okay. So you've got three different movements that you're gonna work through here, okay? First one is uh, what's called a jump squat to a target, okay? So what we use here is just a box that we have. You could use a small step stool. You could stack up, um, you know, really, if you got bumper plates or anything like that, you could do that. You just wanna have something that when you squat down, you're gonna be in a little bit wider stance, okay? We're gonna squat down, we're gonna touch the hand, the fingertips to the object, then when we come up, we're jumping on to whatever object it is, okay? So that's one rep. Back down, squat, then I'm jumping back on, okay? So this one is a 21-15-9, okay? Those workouts that we all love, the very, very famous ones, okay? So you've got 21 jump squats to the target. Then you're gonna come into a lunge, okay? So remember, when we lunge, we wanna make sure that the front knee is staying over the ankle. We don't wanna be in this position here. We don't want our chest leaning forward. We wanna stay in a good upright position, and we're really looking for a 90-90 position, okay? Driving through that back foot and the front foot so that we can really stay in a good solid position as we're moving, okay? So that's your second movement. Third movement is gonna be the Russian step up, okay? So we're using a bench here. You do want something that's a little bit higher than say what you're using for your jump squat to target, okay? So what you're gonna do with one leg, you're gonna have it up on the, uh, the bench, and then we're just gonna drive the opposite leg up, okay? So this is an explosive movement. You can add in a little jump at the end, okay? but we really want to be intentional about driving the leg up on this one, okay? Not necessarily a step up. It's got a little bit more explosive movement to it than what we would typically do, okay? So let's talk through this one, okay? So it's a 21-15-9 uh, is the rep scheme. Now, what I want you to do on this one is I want you to think, at it, think about it from a time domain standpoint. I said sprint in the beginning, okay? So if you can do this workout in four minutes or less, then you might want to consider doing 21 reps on each leg, okay? On the lunge and the Russian step up. Now, if you think this workout's gonna take you longer, say six to seven minutes, then you would just wanna keep it as a 21 total, okay? Or 15 total when it comes to the lunge and step up not be trying to do 21 on each leg. Just accumulate those reps, okay? Remember, on this, it's meant to be a sprinter, so we wanna keep the intensity up, the movements are, we wanna stay moving, we don't wanna to have to be stalling out and resting too long on a movement, okay? Really trying to keep this under, I would say, like that six-ish minute time domain, okay? So that's your uh, conditioning for the day.